And I think that we don't discuss that enough because everybody's so busy focusing on black girl magic and telling women that they're perfect and that men are the problem that we don't talk about the depth of trauma that a young girl goes through when her daddy's nowhere around when she needs him. You know, when, like really, you know, you had all these situations where you needed a daddy, you needed a protector and your dad did not do the job. Like your daddy was not around. Like that's, that's traumatic. That's horrible. That's unfair. That should not have happened to you. And I, I hate the idea that we don't spend time talking about the pain or acknowledging and really discussing the pain that that women have to ignore that should rightfully come from the idea that your opposite sex parent was nowhere to be found that, you know, they had the daddy daughter dance and you couldn't go, you know, or that bad things happen to you. Maybe molestation is through the roof. Think about, think about how many black girls get touched unfairly or inappropriately when they're young, you know, you got, R. Kelly's all throughout the hood. You got 20 something, 27, 32 year old men running around dating 13 year old girls. You know, and it's not like just like a predator throwing, you know, some little girl in a van. It's literally a relationship where the girl really thinks she really is in love with this 28 year old man that got her pregnant. You know, and, and, and a lot of this happens because of the missing father. I don't think that as black people, we're ever going to, those who want to build families and stuff, I don't think we're ever really going to build healthy families until we acknowledge the trillions in in wealth uh, as well as the the infinite damage that was done when they not only removed the man from the family, but they removed your memory of what it was like to even have a man in the family. When they took away, they didn't just take away the father. They took away the respect for the father. They took away the need for the father. They, they, it's like it's like somebody cutting off your right arm, and then teaching you that you don't even need a right arm anyway. So if somebody offers you a right arm, you're gonna say, "Why in the hell do I need that? My left arm is good. I'm cool. I can, I can, I can drive. I can cook. I can, you know, I can, I can eat with it. I, I can do my homework." Why do I even need a right arm? So, so, so generally speaking, I just think that this is damaging. This, this is, I mean, you can't really, you're not going to really fight for something that you don't think that you need. You're not going to fight for something that you don't value. Tell me if you, tell me if I'm right or wrong. What do y'all think? If you don't value something, if you don't feel like, damn, I really need this, then you're not really going to be committed to it. You're going to commit as long as it's comfortable. Once it gets hard, you're going to give up. Am I right or am I right? Again, think about it like college. Think about it like college. When I went to college, I felt like I had to finish. So on the hard days, I, it never crossed my mind to drop out of school. It never, you know, if I called my parents and said, gosh, you know, school's really hard. I think I'm going to come home. They'd be like, no, you can't do that. You have to finish. I had no choice. You, you need to have a college degree. Like, that's the standard. That's the expectation. There, there is no option for you to drop out of school. Like, that's not even something we even talk about. But then I have friends who did drop out of school, and in many cases, it was because they nobody else in their family had finished college. So they're like, oh, well, it's hard. So, you know, just come on home. So, so again, when you've been taught your whole life that you're a strong black woman and that black women, black girl magic and black women are perfect, black women can do everything and you ain't got no trauma. It's really these niggas out here. They the, they the problem and all that. Well, then when you get with a man and, and, and things get hard, then you're going to say, well, I survived my whole life without a man. I mean, I didn't even have my father. So, you know, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be I'm not going to fight for this relationship. I'm not going to sacrifice and compromise for this because because why, why? I, I don't need it. But you'll but you will but you will sacrifice and compromise for, I don't know, getting your hair done. Cause there ain't no woman gonna leave the house without getting her hair done. She'll she'll spend her last nickel to get the hair done. Am I am I lying? Am I lying? Seriously, like so 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 not so going out without getting your hair done is something where it's like, oh no, oh hell no, oh, I can't leave the house. I got oh I got to go and max out the credit card. I got to go borrow money to get th this has got to happen by any means necessary. But I don't don't think we always feel that way about our relationships. Well, wow, well, because mama got along without a man, so I can too. And, and and again, this is not just picking on the women. I hope I don't sound like I'm picking on women. I'm not doing that. I'm I'm actually acknowledging 
the trauma that maybe you're not acknowledging. You know, when you have to have this superhero, strong black woman persona, like like everything's perfect because you got an MBA and you look good. You know, like, like and I'm like, like, but are are you really good inside? Like, did that inner child that was damaged, that little girl that's crying because her daddy wasn't there or because she went through things because she couldn't depend on a man, has she been healed enough to even know how to function properly in a situation where a man might be involved? I, I don't know. I'm not judging. I'm not I'm not telling you how to feel. Everybody's different. And I will also say this, what where I, where I've seen it appear in the boys is that when the men don't think the women need men, then they're also quick to walk out too. They're like, well, you don't really need me around here. I mean, you keep telling me how you don't need me. And also my mama didn't need a man. So let me, I'm going to go out here and go get some ass. You take care of the, the baby. <laughs> Good luck to you and the baby. I'll see you when I see you. I'll show up when it's time for me to have sex with you. And then the rest of the time, I'm going to be out living my best life. So, so I will say to you that when you're talking about this, and uh, and I see your your comment. Tra Travis makes a good point. He says, uh, "Boys traumatized people can't recognize these issues." Sadly, well, you know what? I'm gonna uh, beg to differ with you slightly on that. I think that if you're traumatized and you're conscious, then you can't see your own trauma. I like to consider myself a conscious traumatized person. When I took the trauma test, it's called the ACEs test, Adverse Childhood Experiences (ACES). The ACEs test basically said that Boyce is a very traumatized person. That's what the result was. And uh, because I've been kind of educated on trauma and what it does to the body, I've been able to actually try to start addressing that trauma. And I'm very aware of that trauma. Uh, 